I like to open with a poem. Um, whether you like it or not, it relaxes me. <laughs> um, and the reason that I've chosen this poem is because recently I have had I have had a long search for an illustrator. I have been looking high and low for someone that would illustrate my words, to, to listen to my words and illustrate them to make a children's book. It's one of my dream things. And I have found one. Her name is Emily Marsh. If you go to my website, um, TammyJan.com, uh, you can go there, and um, her the link to her um, site is there. You can look at her art, and I'm hoping that she can interpret my stuff, and eventually we'll find a publisher or not. I've I've tried to go to publishers, but they say that children don't like stories that rhyme. And I said, I'm so glad they never said that to Dr. Sue. But, uh, <clears throat> but I'm on my own journey, so. Um, I'm going to give it a try because I love to look at words and look at art and I don't think that's such a bad thing to give to kids. So we'll see how it works out. Um, I'm reading it out of my book. I'm currently um, making my next book. I make them through Shutterfly but I am looking for a publisher also for that. But I make them for my family, for gifts and things like that. Um, but it's all my photography and um, poetry and lyrics that I write throughout the year to prove to people I'm a stay-at-home mom but I still do things. <laughs> so this poem is called Fairy Tale Garden. This appealed to the illustrator because she does a lot of fantasy science fiction type things. She thought she could really illustrate this. So um, if you want to read it for yourself, it's on my site in the poetry section. Um, I actually put it on the page with my um, pictures of mushrooms because there's a lot of mushrooms in <laughs> So, but um, <clears throat> Hopefully this will make a nice children's book. You can tell me later if you think so or not. Fairy Tale Garden. Lavender, mint, soft mossy green, starshine and flowers and blue fairies. The most magical place that you've ever seen. A fairy tale garden for those who believe. A path glows white to mushroom homes. Drenched in moonlight are tiny gnomes who come out at night to dance with fairies and play hide and seek in the rosemary. Under the bridge bubbles a stream. In cool waters they are swimming. Red, yellow, blue, and green little fishes. Sprites stand on the bridge and cast in their wishes. Among the flowers are mystical elves casting magic, weaving their spells. Their music floats on a scented breeze as they sing and tell tales to the tallest of trees. Enchanted night comes to an end. The stars retreat and moon descends. The garden is empty, silent and waiting for magic to come when daylight starts fading. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Immediate response. Thank you. <laughs>